All right, in this video, we're gonna overview the actual Mindstorms education programming software. So when you first launch the software, you're gonna be brought to a screen that looks just like this, which is the lobby page. Now in the lobby, this is actually where you can go to open up a new program, create a new program, export and share your program files and things like that. So up top here, the little icon with an arrow going into a box. That's actually how you open up a new program. So when you click on that, it's going to bring you to your drive uh, if you want to go ahead and open up something new. Down here at the bottom, you'll see there's a button to create a new program, and any programs that you've already created will be listed here. Now, it's important to point out that these programs are actually stored inside the Mindstorms application. So say, for example, you want to save these programs to your drive. If you want to share them with group members or a teacher or something like that, you can actually push this icon here and then select the program that you'd like to share. And then it's going to take you to your drive where you can upload them, share them with classmates, teachers, email, whatever it is that you want to do with your program files. But you do need to take that step if you'd like to actually remove your programs from the EV3 programming app. If we go ahead and click New Program, we're going to see a few different icons to look at here. Up in the top left corner, you have the Home button to take you back to the lobby. Over in the far right, this is where you can actually control the EV3 robot if it were connected. We'll get to that in a later video. Down here in the bottom right, this is another EV3 control panel. It'll show you what's actually plugged into your robot, which again, I'll get into more detail that in a later video. And then these are your different programming blocks. Now you'll notice that one block is already out. It's always gonna be out when you have a new program and that's the start block, which you always need when you write a code, you need to tell it to start. This green section, these are your control blocks. So if you wanna control sounds, motors, things like that. The yellow sections, that's your control, uh, your command blocks here. So again, start, wait blocks, loops, things like that. And then purple, that's actually if you want to make a comment. So any of these blocks, you can just drag and drop out onto your program and they'll appear here. And then you'll also notice that up in this top of the corner, there are undo and redo buttons. We'll get into more detail about what each of these blocks do in later videos.